Hi, today is November 12th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1812 for the year, Vision. She saw things he didn't see in the picture he happened to take of a trash can on a shrouded table. Where he just saw a decently balanced composition, she saw a version of Jesus and the Virgin, an inverted pieta. He loved the way she looked. Poem number 1813, The Song. The singer's mouth was closed, and at first the song stayed inside the singer's heart. But the song was so beautiful and strong and eternal, it had to be realized. The song could not remain internalized. And it burst out of the heart and swam in the fountains and bounced up and down around the mountains and sank deep down into the ground. You could hear the song in the old wood creaking under people slowly walking and under rocking chairs rocking on old porch floors. You could hear it in the quiet taps of words emerging from keyboards. You could hear it in the clouds, in the trees, in the seas, in the parasympathetic nervous systems of dolphins and chimpanzees. You could hear the song all over when you took a moment to bend an ear. Long before the song escaped the singer's heart, it had already been here. Poem number 1814, The Room. The table was shut. Poem number 1814, The Room. The table was tabled. The shelves had been shelved. The seats were seated. The hanging was hung up. The air had been aired out. The walls were walled in. The floor was completely floored, and the ceiling looked down on everything. Poem number 1815, The Rut. The riddle was solved when the rut returned again and things got stuck for an hour or two. Then things got unstuck again and seemed to move smoothly. But were things actually moving smoothly or did it only seem that way? The riddle would be resolved only if and when the rut returned again. Poem number 1816, The Pebble. The pebble in his shoe was so small, he didn't feel it all day. He didn't even know that it was there. That night, when he removed his shoe, the pebble wasn't there because it was in the other shoe. But then when he removed the other shoe, there the pebble was. And it was so very small, he almost didn't see it. But when he finally did see it, he felt something. Poem number 1817, The Beach. She thought it might be a really nice day to go to the beach. Probably nobody or almost nobody would be at the beach in mid-November. She could put on a swimming suit and her warmest coat and sit in the beach chair and stare at the ocean and dare herself to try the water. Only she would know if she would dare to take off her coat and run into the surf. Only she would know if she dared not to. But she wouldn't even have the option unless she went to the beach in the first place. She didn't believe that that was reason enough to go to the beach, but after thinking about it, and after getting a little frustrated with how long she was thinking about it, she decided she would go. And she put on the swimsuit and the coat, and she put the beach chair and the picnic basket and a bunch of blankets in the trunk, and an hour later there she was, watching the waves, wondering whether she was going to go in. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1818, Let Them Come. Today they said... Let them come as slowly as they want to come. And they sat and they waited for them to come. And they let them come. And they came so slowly. They came so slowly they almost wondered whether, wondered whether they would actually come. But they had always come before and they believed that they would come. All they had to do was sit and wait. All they had to do was let them come. And they sat and they waited and they let them come. And they came and they came and they came and they came. And they came, and they came, and they came, and they were done. They had come, and they were done. And as usual, they were glad that they had let them come. Thank you. I appreciate you.